floating point comparison. Floating point numbers should not be compared using the equal equal sign because some of these numbers cannot be exactly represented. You may expect them to be equal when comparing them, but instead they're just very close to each other and the equal equal sign will come out as false. Thereby, floating point numbers should not be compared for exact equality, but instead for being close enough. And the epsilon is a difference threshold for indicating that floating point numbers are equal. And it's usually 0 0.0001. And let me show you guys an example on how to compare floating point numbers. So let's compare some doubles. Let's create two doubles. Double A is 3.3333333. And double B is 3. Point, it looks very similar. Let's just change the last number to and looking at them you would probably think that they're the same value because they're just very slightly off but Java is going to tell you otherwise if A is equal to B print out that they're the same same else we'll print out that they're not the same so now let's run the program and it says that they're not the same obviously but if it was the same exact number both sides it would be the same so we can create an epsilon value by saying final double epsilon is 0 0.0001 this is our constant value for to use for determining whether doubles are equal or not and what we want to do now is compare a minus b and check if that number is less than the epsilon. And we need to be careful because a minus b may be a negative and always be it less than the epsilon. So we want the absolute value of a minus b. And we can do that by simply surrounding this with math.abs, the absolute value, and pass a minus b in the parentheses. Now we can compare and check if a minus b, the difference between these two numbers is less than the epsilon value of 0 0.0001. And it's true, so it says these numbers are the same. But if something changed slightly that was greater than the threshold, like there was a 5 right there in b, and you ran the program again, it says they're not the same. So this is how you should compare floating point numbers in Java.